welcome. So today I'm going to talk about couch thrifters. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know that I mentioned this a few times uh, today and just throughout the week because um, I was going to release the information about this group. So what this is, it is a group and it states here it's a place for resellers to source online from other resellers that have inventory to unload. Um, so I actually gave this a try and had a really great and positive experience. So I wanted to just share it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find them on Facebook. It's just called Couch Thrifters. It's a private group and you're going to click, um, it'll have like a join button. They'll ask you a few questions and then you can join. Very, very simple. And once you are in there, I'm just going to scroll down and kind of show you what happens. So you're going to create a live event um, that happens. Now, when I say live, it doesn't mean you go live. It just means that you're going to you're gonna be online and you're going to be communicating with people and posting pictures. So um, in the beginning, it'll say um, kind of what you're having, massive live thrift, um, and then it'll say beginning at a certain time. And then what you do is you just post the photos uh, in the comments and then you put the price condition um, and you definitely want to put if there's any kind of blemishes or flaws on your items. Uh, and in the very beginning, it says all items are one to five dollars. So it's really good to get that kind of out in the open. Most people will put brands. Yeah, this person put the brands. Um, there are certain like stipulations and rules as to shipping. So um, from when I was on there, they said you had to do shipping. So this person did uh, shipping through Poshmark. Uh, Poshmark shipping is pretty high. So I wanted to do my own shipping. So I just put that I would ship via Pirate Ship, which is just a company that you can, um, I can show you really quickly because I have it. Pirate Ship is a company you can ship through. You just hit create label and then you just paste their information. You can get rates based on just their zip code. So that's what I do first when I'm creating the invoice. So I know exactly how much they're going to pay in shipping and you can weigh the item and all of that. So you definitely have to make sure that you get that right. It's not like a certain price. So say I lift something for $5 and then plus shipping is what you'll say. And then you'll just weigh it and then that person you'll send that person the information and they will pay for the item. So I do everything through PayPal. Um, they have a really super easy way to invoice people. And this is just an example. Invoice number six, you can put their email address. And when they go on there and they pay for their invoice, uh, it'll actually update with their address. So you have their exact address to ship. You can ship directly to them. So you're going to put the item name and then the price. You definitely want the price to include the shipping. So it's really important when you first get uh, the sale to get their zip code so that you can fill all of this in appropriately. And then that way you're sending them the exact um, amount of the invoice. You can just send it directly to them. Um, I already have like my information on there. But yeah, so I did this um, a few weeks ago. I had a live sale and I sold, I think I listed 60 items and I sold about 18, I think. Two of them were pretty big bundles and then two of them were um, just smaller ones. So here she has starting in 15 minutes. You do have to be like on there answering questions and things like that. Um, once you're finished loading all of the stuff that you're selling at the very bottom, you will just say that's the end or something like, like this is the end of my sale. Um, and then after a few um, hours, you can go ahead and close it out. Like say that you're finished with this sale. Um, you could put an end to end time. I don't know if they put that or not, but um, anyway, I was really happy with all that I sold, uh, and I, it was super, super easy, um, and I actually made a profit, even though I was getting rid of some inventory, um, I actually made a profit, and I'm gonna, I guess I'll jump over to my other screen here, let me zoom out just a little bit, so these are just stuff that I have sold this month, so, um, the ones, here we go, so these are the, the teal color are my couch to thrifters live sale it has their names so um here is the price that let's see this is the price that it cost for the inventory so you can see this person this person bundled a few things um and that is what i paid for the items and then it shows you what they sold for and my profit so i didn't make a huge profit but it's much better than just donating your items and losing out 
Like you would be negative because I paid this amount of money for these items. So not only am I breaking even, I'm actually making a little bit of a profit by selling on this group. So I'd love to uh, just know your feedback and let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Thanks guys.